Hello and welcome to Point or View. China finally launched its crewed Shenzhou 16 mission to the Tiangong Space Station on Tuesday, May 30th, Beijing time. The Shenzhou spacecraft was launched atop a Long March 2F rocket. The arrival of the three Shenzhou 16 astronauts will mark the beginning of the handover from the Shenzhou 15 to the Shenzhou 16 crew. Shenzhou 16 lifted off from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center in China. Shenzhou 16's crew was announced just days before the launch of the mission. Taikonaut Jing Haiping is the commander, with Zhu Yangzhu serving as the mission's engineer Nine, and Gui Haichao eight, serving as seven, the payload specialist. Six, five, Flying on his fourth four, space flight, Jing three, Haiping will lead two, Shenzhou 16. One. Ignition. The experienced Taikonaut has spent a total of 47 days and 18 Lift hours off. in space while serving on the Shenzhou 7, Shenzhou 9, and Shenzhou 11 missions. With Shenzhou 16, Haiping will visit a third space station and become the only Taikonaut to ever visit three separate space stations. Serving as Shenzhou 16's engineer, Zhu Yangzhu is ranked as a colonel in the Chinese army. Lastly, Gui Haichao becomes the first payload specialist in Chinese spaceflight history. Haichao worked for several years in Canada as a postdoctoral researcher and later joined Beihang University. Haichao has become the first Chinese civilian to fly into space on Shenzhou 16. Shenzhou 16 marks the first flight of the second generation Shenzhou spacecraft, which carries a plethora of technical improvements over the first capsule. These improvements include fewer imported parts and more parts from Chinese manufacturers, and improved control mechanisms to make controlling the spacecraft easier for the crew. The Shenzhou spacecraft, which translates to Divine Boat, will be used to carry the Shenzhou 16 crew to and from the Tiangong space station. With its design being heavily inspired by the Russian Soyuz capsule, Shenzhou has been flying for 24 years and completed its first flight in 1999. The spacecraft has a mass of about 7,840 kilograms and is about 9.25 meters long and approximately 2.8 meters in diameter. Its internal volume is 14 cubic meters and can host up to three taikonauts for travel to and from the Tiangong space station. It is certified to stay in space for up to 183 days. The Shenzhou stack consists of three modules, the orbital module, the re-entry module, and the service module. The Tiangong space station is the largest space station China has built thus far. Tiangong is planned to operate for 10 to 15 years in low Earth orbit at an inclination of 41.58 degrees and an altitude of 389 kilometers. China's Long March 2F rocket is the backbone of the Chinese human spaceflight program, as it is used primarily to launch Shenzhou missions. The rocket has a 100% success rate so far. The rocket stands 62 meters yeah, tall with a liftoff is... weight of 464,000 kilograms. It can lift up to 8,400 kilograms into low Earth orbit. At liftoff, all four of the liquid-fueled boosters and the center core ignite. Lifting the rocket and Shenzhou 16 off of the pad. Right after docking, which is expected to happen just a few hours after launch, the crew of Shenzhou 15 will hand over the operations of the station to Shenzhou 16. Shenzhou 15 crew are expected to leave the station in early June. That a wrap, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.